What's up guys, it's Giovanni. Just wanted to give you guys an update on uh, something I learned about the uh, capturing software that I use to record all the videos that I use on my channel. Uh, as you may or may not know, I use an, uh, an Elgato Game Capture HD. It's a uh, USB uh, 2.0 uh, HDMI uh, encoder uh, that's released by Elgato. And um, I've been using that for all of my uh, uh, Giovanni gaming channel and my Tap and Thumb gaming channel. And uh, in particular, they've released a 1.1 update in the last few days. Uh, basically, this upgrades uh, the Game Capture HD, uh, giving it a couple of capabilities that it didn't have before. Uh, namely, uh, is the ability to capture 1080p uh, uh, content uh, through the HDMI port. So, uh, if you're paying attention to this uh, recording, uh, this uh, video on YouTube, uh, set it to 1080p, and you should be able to see the entire detail of my desktop. Uh, normally, the Game Capture HD uh, from the previous update, uh, the 1.0 and the 1.01 update uh, that was before this, uh, could only capture, uh, I believe, 1080i. Uh, so uh, that's an upgrade. This now can record uh, 1080p progressive uh, uh, inputs. Uh, the input could be uh, 60 frames per second or um, 30 frames per second, which, whichever. And I'll tab it over here so you can actually see um, what uh, the NVIDIA, my NVIDIA card is reporting uh, the Elgato's capabilities as uh, it's connected to the HDMI port, as you can see, uh, it says there 1080p 1920 by 1080 uh, 60 hertz refresh. Uh, that mode used to not be av be available, uh, so that you know that basically uh, you can see that now that's actually a capability. Uh, although keep in mind, um, the Game Capture HD actually only records uh, at 1080p 10 at 1080. Uh, vertical lines at 30 frames per second. So regardless of the input being 60 frames per second or anything above that, um, the recording that will be encoded at, with H.264 will be um, 30 frames per second. Uh, so that's a big major update uh, for the Game Capture HD. Uh, there's another couple uh, significant updates that we should talk about. Uh, uh, the Game Capture HD actually now supports uh, MHL uh, HDMI uh, adapters. Uh, so um, I've been complaining in the forums and on their Facebook page and I'll get Elgato's Facebook page and uh, you know on the Amazon.com review of this web of uh, this device that it, uh, when I would connect originally connect with the uh, MHL adapter for my Galaxy Nexus, uh, the Game Capture HD would incorrectly uh, detect uh, uh, the resolution at 640 by 480, and of course, the Galaxy Nexus that I own is a 720p device, uh, so you couldn't get a screen recorded from from the phone uh, correctly. So that's now fixed. I've actually tested that and connected it directly, and um, it uh, picks up the uh, picks up the phone and shows up correctly on the screen. Um, it also even picks up the HDMI audio uh, from the phone. So um, I think that's LPCM, whatever kind of digital audio going through, the f through HDMI, uh, that gets recorded uh, and, and decoded into the uh, Gamecatcher HD. Although uh, I played a couple of songs, the um, uh, played around with the audio volume, the, uh, some, of the vo some of the audio seems to sound a little bit clipped. Uh, or uh, a little overdriven, so um, I mean I've I've lowered the volume a little bit on the phone, and a couple of steps, and it doesn't seem to affect uh, the the clipping and uh, overdriving that it sounds like. So um, I wouldn't recommend uh, connecting a Galaxy Nexus uh, directly uh, to the HDMI audio. Uh, you should rather you should use uh, analog audio out uh, through the um, the uh, audio analog audio jack on the phone and uh, pass it through that way. Um, 
so yeah uh, so that that was an improvement uh, they also say in the change log um, that uh, the software supports uh, or um, has less lag or maybe it's more responsive in terms of uh, uh, making changes and edits to the configuration and um, from when you I guess press buttons or something um, I can't um, empirically uh, you know test that I, I it's very vague in, in the change log of you know what exactly it, it, they mean by it's more responsive uh, but uh, yeah that, that's that I mean it's more responsive I'm not exactly sure where but you know it is what it is uh, the next part is that uh, the game capture she now supports um, something called a Scythe adapter it's, this was like in the tail end of their change log that, that they now support this thing it's a uh, a foot switch, a USB foot switch. Uh, so, uh, if if you've ever tried to use the Game Capture HD and you know connect a uh, connect and uh, connect the monitor and record at the same time, uh, you know that it's really difficult to use the device if you're not using two monitors. If you have only one monitor, then it's it's really hard to, uh, you know, switch between the computer software, which is, is on your computer, and then switching over to the HDMI pass-through on the device. Um, and, you know, that's almost next to impossible unless you have two monitors, or you've got some kind of, uh, oh, let's say you've got some kind of, uh, you know, some, uh, 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 what do you call that? Uh, like uh, VNC or uh, some other uh, 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 screen virtualization software to allow you to see what's on the um, what's on your computer screen while looking at another looking at the primary uh, HDMI output. Um, so you know that's it's really hard to hit that toggle button and read the output and know how long you're going without um, you know toggling back and forth between the two. So supposedly the Skyth adapter, um, when you hook it up, uh, the uh, GCHD software will actually connect to this, and you can use this foot switch to toggle the recording on and off uh, of the uh, software. So instead of you know toggling back and forth on, with your mouse and clicking the record button, you can actually just hit the foot switch, and that'll um, toggle the recording of the software. So that's a big improvement. Uh, you still can't see the timer. Or how much, how long your recordings have gone? Um, that's something I would. Uh, this the foot switch doesn't solve. Um, you're either going to have to use a, um, you know, a stopwatch or a kitchen timer, um, either on your desk or uh, or some some type of watch or something to help you keep track of how long you're recording. Because as you know, uh, YouTube has a 15 minute li uh, limit for recordings, or or greater if you've um, if uh, you, you're either partnered or you have um, put in your phone number into YouTube to increase your, your uh, recording limit. Um, in my case, when I do recordings, I, I use a, um, I either VNC or use a, uh, I use Splash Desktop to uh, remote into my uh, computer screen so I can actually see the recording button <laughs> on the Game Catcher HD software so I can actually see the time recording elapsed uh, and also the um, recording button, so I can hit that and toggle it on and off. Um, so I, I don't necessarily have a, my in my case, I don't specifically have a need for this for the foot switch, uh, but uh, I can see how it could help other people uh, help them record uh, from their computer. Uh, so uh, so that's an improvement. Um, yeah, so that's the one point one update. Uh, Elgato uh, didn't really put too much out there in terms of uh, what's been changed. I mean, they just slapped a sticker up on their uh, website and it really doesn't tell you too much. Um, same thing if you go to their Facebook webpage. Um, you know, there's a little remark there that they uh, now have 1080p and uh, uh, and uh, I've complained that they, they need to put a change log. I mean, there's a change log which, when you go into the uh, GCHD software and you do the uh, check for updates. And the little dialog window will pop up, and it'll show you, in a, in a couple of paragraphs, you know what's what's been changed. But uh, that really needs to be on their website, or it needs to be here, 
or it needs to be on their Facebook page or somewhere so you can just you know just figure out what, what's ac exactly changed um, so yeah I'm really psyched about this update it, it really improves upon you know some of the uh, lacking features of uh, of the GCHT oh there's one other thing um, I noticed some use small usability improvement um, the uh, if you look at the uh, the uh, configuration of the GCHD and you're on the slider page toggling around with the uh, the bandwidth um, and the bit rate and the um, the resolution uh, there's a little extra line at the end of the uh, bit rate you know it'll say like your current bandwidth is 15 megabits per second uh, at the end of it it will also say um, based on the current estimate of the megabits per second it'll show you how many gigabytes per hour uh, at that current setting uh, that uh, the current recording will use so that's a big uh, usability improvement helps you estimate how much space you potentially will use per hour as you make recordings with the device um, just in case you know you don't hit your disk space limit um, so that, that's a big improvement um, I've also noticed that the uh, the bandwidth the megabits a bit rate can actually go up to 26 megabits uh, so that may be a, a nod towards the uh, 1080p improvement uh, giving a little bit more bit rate. Uh, I don't. I don't see any reason why you want to record at 26 megabits per second or anything that high. You know, 1080p. You're probably good. Mm, up 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 from anywhere from 10 megabits all the way up to 15 megabits, and you know, uh, even at that point, you know, you're you're recording at 30 frames per second at 1080p, and there's really not much of an improvement unless you know you're doing it for archival purposes, and that may be your reason to do that. Uh, uh, anything else that I see there? Uh, no, that's it. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty good improvement. 1.1 update. Uh, the 1.001 update previously from this supported Mountain Lion, Mac OS 10 Mountain Lion, and then now this ver newer version supports, you know, recapping. It supports 1080p, 30 frames per second encoding, 60 frames per second HDMI input. Um, that's a big, big feature. Uh, supports MHL HDMI adapters for connecting to um, Android devices such as the uh, Samsung Galaxy Nexus, Samsung Galaxy S2, Samsung Galaxy S3, Galaxy Note, all those other devices that support MHL. Um, that, that used to not work, so that does work now. Um, and HDMI audio, digital audio through that uh, connector link, so that, that works. Um, Let's see, uh, uh, more responsiveness, less lagginess. Uh, I can't specifically speak to ex exactly what that means, but uh, that's an improvement somewhere that they, they talked about. Um, some small usability improvement in, 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 in the uh, UI for in estimating um, gigabytes used per hour for your recordings. Uh, and also the, uh, the Skythe foot switch. Uh, I don't have this device, so I haven't tested it. But for those that actually don't use, uh, don't have two monitors for for doing recordings, or don't use uh, 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 virtual desktop remote software, you know, like Splash Desktop or uh, VNC or whatever, uh, this foot switch will actually be in a, uh, might actually help you uh, toggling your recordings on and off remotely using your foot. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's 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 a quick update on the uh, Elgato Game Capture HD. It's a device that I use to do all my recordings with. Uh, this is a big improvement, and I thought I'd want to let you guys know about uh, those changes. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for uh, more videos, more to come. Uh, all right, guys.